Well, hey, hey there, Capricorn. That was fast. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. <laughs> As we expand on the energies, here's your forecast for the first half of November 2021. General reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. Because it is a general reading. Hey, you might want to look at the forecast for your moon or your rising. And there's a link in the description if you need to find yours. Okay, lovely. Some got some great foundational cards here. And uh, we'll talk about those. Well, I'm going to put these down here. We'll talk about those and then we'll get some clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Okay. Hey, if this does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you want to claim the reading or just say, hey, I'll comment below the video. Always appreciate that. Okay. So let's, in the words of my favorite YouTube uh, chef, put a link in the description if you know who I'm referencing to. Let's do this, shall we? <laughs> Oh, by the way, thanks again for your likes and subscribes to support the channel. I appreciate you. All right. Two of water. Two of water. Harmony. Peace. Look at these guys. They're swimming. There's no fighting going on here. Got a little, little respite. A little ch chance to get a little peace. A little harmony in your life for the first couple of weeks of November. And um, eh, heart connections between family. Really cool. And why? It's because you can see in the words of one of my, somebody's spirit, I, mine is always singing. This doesn't sound like mine, but he's, they're singing the same song. This, this spirit sounds like someone else's, um, what a delicious buttery male voice. But it's, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Kind of like that. Anyway, um, I can see all obstacles in my way, the illusion. Yeah, you're seeing beyond that veil of illusion and the truth is becoming illuminated for you. So good for you. You're able to really move in a direction where you can see what's in front of you. And <clears throat> to be honest, you need to see what's in front of you. There's lots going on, you know, because you're moving into a more creative and creative phase with this four of fire, uh, a new creative phase, a phase of celebration, a phase of pleasure, back to harmony and harmony. All right. So pleasure. Uh, somebody's spirit is showing me something in the bedroom, pleasure wise. Another person is showing me um, sort of an indulgence. Um, Hmm. I've got a few indulgences here, apparently. Um, some of them are pampering indulgences, treating yourself to something. All right. And, and really rewarding that, um, the strength, your strength, your accomplishments, you know, taking some time and patting yourself on the back here, you know, and that's gonna, you know, it's, it's all been about how, uh, strong you are, your own endurance. And this is a time where you can take a little bit of a rest and say, hey, I did good. All right, I might not be exactly where I want to be, but I'm getting there. And, and this eight, uh, the strength card really amplifies, solidifies, verifies the fact that you are strong, you are mighty, you can do anything. And you've got the six of earth here, I've had this on a couple of different readings uh, this time around, and that's about unexpected surprises. It's about unexpected resources. It's about, you know, that happy surprises. It's about generosity. You having enough to be generous with someone else, someone else having enough to be generous with you. It's usually signifies some kind of money coming in for you. First half of November, so brr, delicious. I can't do the trill. You could tell I uh, my Spanish was never good in high school, but brrr, there we go. Um, so deliciousness for you. Let's see if we can't get some clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Let me move this up. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
I will tell you what those cards are. Apologies. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fabulous. All right. So, what do we have here? I see you have taken the time during that, that last retrograde that we just had. You've taken the time. You have done some homework to help release any residual feelings of lack, feelings of I don't have enough, will I ever. You've taken some time to think on that, right? And, and you're able to move forward out of that negative Nancy energy. Now, Spirit wants to remind you that you've been through some tough times, but they're, what they're showing me, they're, they're showing me that those tough times are over. They're over because you are releasing those feelings of, I can't, I won't, I don't. And so remember we were saying, hey, some take some time for you. This is a little respite for you. This is a little rest time. Time to go, eh, do yourself a, a spa day of some sort. Do Give yourself a little treat. Whether it be an indulgent treat, maybe again in a new relationship where you have a little weekend together, and a little na-na-na, but I also see a lot of self-pampering going on in, to, in addition to the na-na-na. I see the chariot, you are strong, you are mighty, you are moving forward. Also, maybe some travel involved here uh, in the first half of November. Some possibilities, you know, good news, heralded in by the page of uh, rods, the page of wands, the sticks, as some other decks call it. And, you know, the page is always the bearer of good news. Uh, information may be coming to light here of ways to solidify some kind of business related um, opportunity, something that's going to yield you some cash. And this is about wishes. It's about wishes made, wishes or wishes fulfilled. What you're asking for, you are receiving. It becomes, um, uh, it solidifies in the material world. It manifests and presents itself in a material way, root chakra. So if you made a wish, your wish may be fulfilled during this period. If you haven't made a wish yet, go to the, here's to, go to get that Dollar Tree notebook, write down what you want, be specific, you know. Um, yes, I always write down the lottery win, but sometimes I write down other things like, you know, wouldn't it be great to have you know, a new house, where? And then write down everything that you're looking for in it. You know, uh, wouldn't it be great to have a, a new relationship and then write down your list of umpteen items, all positive. I won't call you a picky bitch if you have 200 items. This is the time to push that energy out into the universe so that it can come back to you um, and present itself. Delicious. Well, guys, enjoy the first half of your uh, of, of November. Changing it up, we're going to have some uh, new, more cutesy, exciting, etc. readings in the future. Thanks again for clicking a little button to subscribe to the channel to support, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.